morning, Emily. It's Sunday, November 22nd, I think. Um, kind of lost track. I'm not sure how long it's been since I made a video. I think I missed a week. I'm not entirely sure about that either. I might have missed two weeks. I apologize if I did. I apologize if I missed one week. I have no idea what happened. Um, been a bit busy, a little scatterbrained, as you know. Um, yeah, I think in your last video, I, I think, I, I, I'm losing it, but I think you talked about uh, the GRE and the general annoyance of that whole process, um, which I totally agree with. Um, so I thought I'd talk a little bit about that and how that works and my take on that. The standardized tests, they used to be pretty good evaluations of IQ, and that's kind of what they're kind, they were kind of meant for, is to judge how well you would do, how well your brain works, essentially. However, since they started um, introducing so much potential preparation for them, it totally skews the entire process. Okay, so my roommate just got home and I walked away, and now I have absolutely no idea what I was talking about. <sighs> Probably wasn't important. Oh well. Anyway, um, actually I have no idea what I've said in this video so far. Apparently I was gone for three minutes and my brain decided that any information that was currently active in it was not important and dumped it all. So, um, so, so, so I've discovered that this hat, which I quite like, I actually do not like as much as I thought because it does not stay on my head. I have to, I, I, I guess I've never worn it for an extended enough period. I guess I've never worn it for long enough to find out that it actually slides up constantly. And then your ears get cold and you have to pull it back down. And it's also not big enough to actually, like, it does not work if you have enough hair to push it out of the way. Like, legitimately, my hair's in a braid and that's too much of a lump and it pushes the hat forward. Which is very annoying. And then you have to pull it back down. Yeah, so, apparently, this hat only works on a short-term basis. So that's a bit annoying. Who knew? Apparently I've never worn this hat for long enough to find out because you don't actually need hats like this in Florida as much as we might like to believe you do. Actually, I think the problem is that it's just never cold enough in Florida to actually tell when your ears are peeking out and getting cold because I think the only time we ever wear is like, you know, camping at Fort DeSoto and whatnot. That's the only time we're outside for a significant amount of time in the cold. If it's even cold then, like it was that one year, maybe Thanksgiving. Hmm. Was it Thanksgiving? Might have been. Oh well. Anyway, um, I should study. You should st I should stop wasting your time so you can do things too. Um, anyway, I am very excited to be coming down in a few days, although it seems like an eternity away. Um, but I will see you in a few days, legitimately see you. And I'm very excited about that. Anyway, hope the orange groves are treating you well. I will actually see you on Tuesday.